what's good everybody it's your host jackson indongo and in today's video i'm gonna be showing you how to trace your favorite pair of shorts into a pattern which you then can take that pattern and create amazing unique pieces like i've done with my favorite pattern of shorts that i've traced out and these are some of the pieces i have created from one pattern amazing okay and i want you guys to do the same if you find this video helpful i'll really appreciate it if you liked comment and subscribe to my channel without further ado let's talk about the supplies and materials you need to complete this project effectively all right so before i tell you the supplies and materials you need to start this project i would like to say something investing in tools as a sewer i don't care if you're a professional or if you're just doing it as a hobby will make your sewing journey easy i've been sewing for the last six months and because i've invested in certain tools it's just made my sewing journey and learning curve faster and easier invest in things that i'm about to say they go a long way so the first things you're gonna need is a pair of scissors any pair of scissors will work because we're gonna need to cut the pattern out once we are done tracing it second thing you're gonna need is sharpies you can use pencils and pen but I like to use sharpies for me it's just easier to trace and it's easier for me to see where I'm drawing the benefits of having a pencil is you can uh, if you mess up you can erase the line and redo it again but the chances of you messing up really on a pattern piece really doesn't make much of a difference because it's the moment you adjust the line that you're gonna cut on I don't think it really matters like at least for me I don't see patterns to be neat things so eh, potato potato whatever works for you the third thing you're gonna need is a tracing wheel this can be found on Amazon I literally bought two tracing wheels for I think 10 15 bucks here's an image of uh, for those who are curious to know their tracing wheels i bought i usually use the one with the longer teeth you can use if you just have the normal um tracing wheel that works too i just prefer the one with the longer teeth for the simple fact that it's just easier for me to trace it right on the piece of clothing and it will literally pierce through that and go on the tracing paper so tracing wheels can be found on Amazon and these are the tracing tools that I bought from Amazon. The fourth thing you're gonna need is paper. Now, here the variations of paper you, you use is up to what you can afford. So the most used sewers that most sewers use is craft paper. Craft paper can be found at your local dollar store it can be found on Amazon. Here's some Amazon pieces that I, um, rows that I found. They go anywhere between, I think, 18 to 25 bucks, but you are getting a lot of paper. Again, a one-time investment that will go such a long way. In this tutorial, I'm gonna be using newsprint rows because I went on the Facebook marketplace and somebody just so happened to be selling newsprint rows and I bought four of them for $10. Like I have so many rows, it's worth it, trust me. I don't think I'll ever get through all these rows even if I trace as many pieces as possible. So you can use A4 paper if you don't have or you don't wanna invest in any of this stuff, but remember you're gonna have to be sticking and, and, and putting things together. That's just more work. Invest in some stuff, um, invest in the material and it will go a long way the fifth thing you're gonna need is a see-through ruler so in sewing they call them quilting rulers I bought seven quilting rulers for I think $40 after tax these are the ones I bought again a one-time investment that goes a long way now if you don't want to invest that much any ruler can work but again for me the ability to see through with these see-through rulers just makes life easier when it comes to tracing, when it comes to labeling stuff, when it comes to drawing lines on patterns, see-through rulers have so many benefits. Invest, invest, invest. I'm telling you, it goes such a long way. Invest in these rulers. If you don't wanna do it, you can still finish this project without them, but it's just gonna take extra steps. All right, so the first step you're gonna do is you're gonna roll out your piece of paper 
you're gonna come somewhere anywhere on the center and we're gonna create margins what do these margins do it just helps putting the shot in place in case it moves you can put it back in place just create a line on the center trust me to make sense as we keep going along this is the easiest way to trace any piece of pants and once you learn this technique it's hard to go back guys this is the easiest beginner friendly professional friendly this is the easiest way of doing it once you learn this technique you will never do it any other way i promise you and you will get better than me so this create this line this is step one just create this line it will all make sense as we trace the pieces of paper so this is just step one create this pause the video if you have to come back when you're ready all right step two we're gonna trace the front sides of the shot now before we trace i want you to know the back pieces in case you didn't know the back pieces of your shorts are always bigger than the front pieces of your shorts so <coughs> the normal inclination is when we're tracing these pants we want to start here but i want you to understand this piece is a back piece see this is a back piece so we cannot trace from here this is the back piece we're tracing the front piece ends right here so we're following these margins right here these are the margins this is the front part of the shots that we are following not this these are back pieces so when we're starting at the front take your piece of shot whether it's left or right whichever you want to do okay and fold them right at the halfway line important note make sure the crouch area is fully out okay once the crouch area is fully out remember we created these margins this is where the bottom of the shorts are gonna come and sit right here guys so this is so that way even if it moves you know where you're at you're not fumbling along and trying to figure out where the shorts was and you're messing things around this is the easiest way i promise you you create these margins it'll be easier even if the shot moved you would still come back and know where the baseline is so please create those lines don't be scared be brave this is very beginner friendly i promise you once you learn this you'll never do it any other way all right now that we have our shots on the grain line okay on these lines on these margins we're gonna trace following this this right here this is the front of the shots guys we're following these lines right here this is the front of the shot and the reason we have this line is because this is where the shots fall now when you see something sword like this it's because this is an extra piece right here and you can see this piece is like half an inch long this is the half an inch we're gonna put at the bottom here so that when we fold our shots we can create the same line when we saw okay so and that's what we call seam allowance okay but right now we're just tracing right at the grain so this is the front sides of the shorts now that you are ready to sew you can pause the video start tracing use your tracing wheel that's why i like this one with the longer wheels because it pierces right through things okay so this is the way i usually do it now if your pair of shorts are super thick and your tracing wheel can't get through all you can do is you can press and just follow along this way too and you can do that that works too guys you can do that remember this is just a rough sketch it doesn't have to be perfect but this is why i prefer this wheel because this wheel literally pierces through even through thick stuff so there we go we're pressing against and then i'm gonna come a little bit down just to see where the shot is right this is the front piece so you can come a little bit down same here you can just do a rough sketch down here following this line okay all right let's go along it looks like it's piercing through we're gonna follow this line there we go okay perfect we're gonna follow this line Is it working yeah a little bit that's fine i'm gonna follow this line right here perfect all right this piece right here this is the back piece that's why we're following this line 
this is the back piece guys remember this is coming from the back piece not the front piece this is a back piece so step two is done now that we've traced it take your pair of shorts fold them put them aside now we're gonna put the lines together guys okay it doesn't have to be perfect once we cut it out it's gonna look amazing so don't worry about creating smooth sexy lines or anything like that just trust me when we're done it's gonna look really pretty so just free throw your hand and try and follow those little lines that you created guys there you go it doesn't have to be super pretty same thing right here we're just following the lines as you can see it's a little bit crooked but that's okay this is good i promise you this is good <laughs> we're not gonna cut like this we're gonna cut straight and then right here so normally when you trace pants they are usually gonna have like a, a beautiful curve to them personally for me for all the shots that i make i don't like that i just create a line so i just find a line and i just create a cross everybody's different but for me i just find this is just neater when i'm creating my my shots i love them straight all right now this shot if i put it back okay i know it doesn't look like much but i promise you when i take this piece of shot and i put it back right here this is the shot right here guys okay that's it this is a pair of shot right here okay for following these lines this is the pair of shots this is the front piece okay now we're gonna create a half a half inch seam allowance half inch is not the full inch this is one two inches half of this which will be the center so this will be half inch and this is why it's important to have rulers that you can see through because you can just come to half inch we're gonna use a different color for this and we're gonna follow half inch same allowance same thing with this we're gonna do half inch seam allowance with this as well half inch seam allowance we're gonna tag along boom boom we're gonna curve it right there boom 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 okay going along boom 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 okay there you go same thing with this side half inch boom 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 guys look at how fast i'm going it doesn't not have to be perfect i promise you it's still gonna come out looking pretty okay so this is what we have and then just connect the dots if you can okay i promise you i know for first time beginners you're probably gonna be looking at this and saying oh my goodness i came here for a perfect for a perfect video but i promise you this is gonna come out looking pretty when it's all done I know it doesn't look like it i promise you it will okay and then we're gonna do half an inch at the top as well okay half an inch 0 0.5 boom all right so now we're gonna color this this is our same allowance this is our same allowance guys boom all right you just stressed your f first pair of shots i know it looks crooked trust me trust me it looks ghetto right now but i promise you it's gonna look pretty when we're done okay trust the process okay now we're gonna cut we're gonna take your pieces of scissors pair of scissors and we're gonna cut
All right. Now let's make it look pretty. I know you had no faith in me. And I you are probably looking at this video saying, oh my goodness, what did I click on? Trust the process. It's going to look pretty. There we go. Bang. Okay, remember. There we go. There we go. There we go. Come on. Come on. Isn't that looking isn't that starting to look a little bit pretty? Come on guys, come on, let's go. Look at that. Trust the process. And it will all work out. Boom. Now we got our sim allowance. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? This is what happens when you trust the process, guys. So this is our first front piece. This is literally our front piece with sim allowance. When we fought this and we saw against the grain, it's gonna, the shorts are gonna fit okay so boom here's your first pair of shorts we put it against the grain there we go we got our seam allowance everything is all popping remember this is up here we're gonna put it right here see it's following that line this line this is what we're following that's it there you go if we fold this boom this is literally our first pair this is our front side congratulations you just stressed your first your front pair of shorts of a pattern look at that that looks pretty guys come on that looks super pretty okay congratulations now the next side we're gonna do is the back piece okay take a break if you have to and come back pause the video and let's get the back piece going all right yo now it's time to trace the back piece now the back piece is a little bit it's easier to trace on the front piece with an extra step okay and the back piece is a little bit longer so remember again take your ruler anywhere along the grain it doesn't have to be perfect okay you're gonna come at the bottom now this line here at the bottom has to be a little bit longer it has to be a little bit longer because the back piece remember guys is bigger than the front okay step one again we're repeating create your lines your grain lines step two remember this is the front now we're going to the back so remember what we need to add this additional piece when it comes to the back piece we need to add this piece so anyway with the front piece the same way it was you're just gonna fold that's all you're gonna do you're gonna fold Okay, make sure you pull this out nicely like this. Let's not focus too much on the crouch. We'll get back to it. But for now, this is it. So now you got your grain line. You got your grain line. We're going to put it on the center. We're going to open it. And it sits right there. Now, let me show you how easy it is to literally trace the back piece. With the back piece, unlike the front, we're not tracing against this line. We're literally tracing outside so this is gonna be easy peasy guys why because this is the all the back piece so you're gonna take your tracing wheel again and this is the easiest one see you just trace at the back following against the uh, literally against the margins of the shots that's what we're tracing against look at that easy work easy work guys easy work right there boom right there boom then we're gonna go and just there you go that's literally the back piece guys super easy boom gonna follow that gonna follow that 
okay i'm gonna bring this back see and that's the beauty of creating those lines you see how the short moved and i'm able to just put it back in its original place that's the beauty of those lines and we're gonna just go and there you go make up some stuff right there something nothing is sticking okay you see so here it's a little bit too thick i'll just create my line right there rough sketch perfect now we're gonna remove the back piece we're not done we'll come back right now we just wanna do go to step two put the lines together so as you can see the back piece is a little bit easier to put together so step one there you go we're gonna connect all these dots together doesn't have to be perfect as you can see remember from the first one there you go pause the video if you have to bang now like I said most shots come with a curve me I like them straight lines bang okay we're not using that we're gonna use this I like them straight lines this is why it's a pattern all right yo. now remember when i said so we've traced this congratulations however we still have this that we need to add to the shot because this is to the back piece guys remember this is the back piece okay so there's two ways to do this okay step one I'll show you the easier way of doing this of tracing this part of the pants right on this okay because we need this if we don't add this additional two one inch or 1.5 inches to these shots they are not going to fit we need this back piece you see this piece right here this is part of the back because if I pull down okay guys this is part of the back piece okay we need this this additional few inches we need that okay so there's two ways to do it i'll show you the easier way oh the not so easy way i think both sides are easy but i think potato potato whatever works for you okay so i'm gonna come back to the back piece okay let's make sure we close it up okay perfect and then we do this now we need this extra few inches so all you're gonna do is you're gonna come you're gonna open the short up like this okay guys so so what we're doing you're gonna press this front piece this right here at the crouch for the front piece okay and then you're gonna align this piece right here for the front piece and this corner right here on the back piece you're gonna align these two together so you're gonna literally just drag the shorts okay so we're gonna drag this front piece right here we're dragging this front piece okay so let me make sure i do this correct again okay we're right at the grain everything is great okay shorts up okay perfect now we're just gonna open the down part we're gonna take this part and we're gonna match it right here bang okay make sure it's aligned perfect and then we're gonna try and pull there we go is it aligned yes it is okay so now that is it's aligned that those two corners are aligned now we can get this we need this guys so this is literally so we have our extra line and then Okay, that's the easier way, the easiest way of doing it. Okay, so now we have that additional thing right there. Okay, so that's our additional piece. For those who want, um, if this is complicated, either way works. I find this is the easiest way to do it. The other way to do it is still the same way, except you just have the shorts folded okay 
you just have the shots folded so you pretty much you press the same thing same method you make sure it's literally at the line right there you feel the front thing and then you trace that's it so you can trace that you can do that too that works okay that works okay either way both of them work guys i know I, right now it's just a little bit crooked but both sides work it's literally the same thing i'll literally go on the middle and show you so that's how you usually trace it whichever way works i know the second one i kind of rushed it that's why it looks so crooked but i promise you i will literally just here you go so i'll come right here on the middle okay we're gonna come on the middle and then i'm going to trying to make this line straight guys boom there you go so here we got 1.5 inches or Guan Delilah and we have 1.5 inches okay so it's pretty accurate it's the same thing there was 1.5 this is 1.5 now we can create our margin our seam allowance 0.5 right here at the bottom 0.5 seam allowance i promise you you use this technique you practice it you will never go back this is the easiest way to literally trace any pair of pants if you want to learn how to trace shorts or uh, shirts pants just let me know in the comment section and i'll create videos for those i know this looks a little bit it's it looks rough but i promise you guys this technique works the only reason i'm, I'm able to do it is fast and i don't want it to be too perfect is because i know most times when we watch videos you see the person you're watching do it so perfectly that when you create a crooked line you think you're doing something wrong but i'm here to tell you crooked lines when you're creating patterns are okay like it doesn't have to be too too perfect you can make adjustments too right so sometimes if you see a content creator create a straight line and your lines don't come out straight you think like oh my gosh i just messed up the pattern no and that's why i'm able to do it this rough because i want you to i want to encourage you to say it's okay like the end result will always come out looking good promise you that the end result will always come out looking good Okay. how you trace and how you cut the pattern are two different things so just because the line is sharp doesn't mean I have to cut it sharp I can go around right so that's why I'm able to create these rough sketches for you because these are the rough sketches I draw all the time and I still make amazing shots which I've literally shown you and I can show you again. All these beautiful shots I've created came from these patterns that I'm making. They look rough, but I promise you it's just a pattern. What you create is not a representation of what you're drawing on the pattern. So I want you to have imperfections on your, on your sewing pattern. I need to give you some confidence to say, okay, Jackson is not creating perfect pattern, so you think by creating a crooked pattern, yours is not going to work as effective as mine. Once you know the technique, guys, it's going to work. There you go. Okay. And now, that's our... That's our back piece. Now we're gonna cut. All right, y'all. So that's our literal back piece.
Okay. There you go. Almost done. Guys, the reason I'm not making all these lines perfect is because I don't want you to have a perfect mindset when you're creating these patterns. I know when I was learning how to create patterns and learn how to sew, if the person creating does something that I'm not doing, I think I'm doing something wrong. So here I am doing something so rough and you can still see the beautiful piece that comes out of it. Just take out perfection out of your mindset. All right. Congratulations, you just made a back piece. Okay, so you just created a back piece with the additional 1.5. Okay, with the additional 1.5 piece to that. Come on, look at how beautiful these pieces look. So now, end result, you have your front piece and your back piece. Now you're probably wondering like, bro, like what about this other side? So normally I create patterns like this. So all you have to do, think of it this way, guys. This is the front piece. Piece one, if you flip it back, that's piece two. See that? If you flip it forward, that's piece one. So you can use this one to create your left. And if you turn it back, you create your right piece. Then you sew this together. Okay. If you want to know how to actually sew a pair of shorts, if you really want to know how to uh, learn how to pair, uh, how to sew a pair of shorts, leave it in the comment section below and I'll show you the full process on how to start clothes. Of course, now that you have the pattern, I'll show you how I can how to how to make amazing unique pieces. I promise you, this is not clickbait. I will show you how to make amazing unique pieces like myself. Look at these beautiful pieces I'm about to put on the screen right now. Tell me these are not bomb. I'm gonna show you how to do this. If you support this YouTube channel, and I'm gonna show you how to use this pattern that you've just created that I've showed you to create, and you're gonna make the most unique pieces in the closet thrifting you don't even have to go and buy some stuff whatever you have in your closet i'll show you how to create some amazing pieces from these patterns so now let's go with the back piece guys let's go congratulations you just have your first patterns made okay this is the right side remember mana seam allowance this is the right side and this is the left side okay so left right and that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you trace patterns on a piece of paper. And then you can create amazing pieces. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found this video helpful. And that is the technique I use to literally trace pair of pants, pair of shorts, pair of shirts. I can show you other ways to trace other things. If you guys are interested, just leave down in the comment section and I'll start creating videos based on the demand and the need of the viewers. I really appreciate you guys watching this video. I hope you found it useful. I really appreciate if you guys supported my channel as these videos do take time to make. I really appreciate if you guys could join my community as I am a huge admirant for other sewers out there who have a community of people who show up time and time again and I want to build up my own community and help you the viewer to also create and start your sewing journey and make money. I will give you so much free stuff if you guys can support me and that much it's a promise that I will live by. I will give you free stuff if you guys in exchange can just help support my channel and give me the energy and encouragement to keep shooting out videos. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this video really finds the person who it's intended to target and I hope you get so much value from this video and I hope to see you in my comment sections. I hope to see your subscription. I hope to see 
you like this video and appreciate it for how it was created like i said i will not teach things that i do not use that technique has created all these pieces of clothing that i'm literally showing you right now just from the patterns that i create the end product always comes out amazing i appreciate you for watching thank you so much and i shall see you guys in the next video peace